Clippers play the Rockets tonight. Then they play the Lakers next. Clippers play Rockets, then the Lakers. Okay. Um. Well, tell me what these two games will mean for the Clippers if they win both. And tell me what it means if they lose both. I'm looking at it. If they want to keep the number two seed. I'm pretty sure. I know for sure they can beat the Rockets. Even no, no disrespect to the Rockets though. I love how Russell is playing. I love how James is playing. Like their duo. Yeah, get out of your body. This podcast You're giving on compliments left no, and right. I gotta be real now. Like, <laughs> I'm saying things now. So James and Russell, I respect y'all. Like y'all a good duo. I mean y'all played together since y'all was young. So y'all are working, actually working. But it's it's just a question like for how long though. You know what I'm saying? For how you long? Because you, you don't think it'll work. It's not going to come posted. It's, I don't feel like that's going to work. It's not. So what they going to they gonna get theirs. But team-wise, like, they're dropping, like, 80% of their points. Like, come on now. You think that's going to actually work in the postseason? So what about the Lakers? Could the Clippers, do the Clippers beat the Lakers? The Clippers beat them twice early this season? Nah, with the Lakers, it's going to be tough. Like, LeBron and AD. I'm sorry. The Clippers I, beat them twice already, though. They did, but... It's still gonna be tough. Like LeBron and like LeBron already said, ain't he in dark thirty mode? Ain't he already in that mode right I don't now? I think so. He ain't tweet that yet. Nah, he ain't tweeted. He only okay. tweeted that come postseason. Okay, okay, but LeBron just playing out of his mind right now. You know, at that age, so is he? Oh yeah, hold on. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, so at that age, so I'm saying him and AD chemistry is great, and they just they just got chemistry. Like I be reading what they be saying. Like the teammates, they they be like. They go out every time they on the road, go to the movies, mm-hmm. like, as a team. Like, that's that's how you do it. Like, that's great bonding as a team. So, they're real comfortable with each other. They always joking, like, LeBron shot for the logo one game. You had AD and them at the logo, like. <laughs> like, so, they they real tight. So, I don't, I feel like they're going to get close to come postseason. They just playing with these boys right now. You still got them coming. Yeah, for Kobe. Finals. For Kobe. Like I said, they doing it for Kobe. They got to. Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers signed Deion Waiters. You told me, why did they not sign Jr. Why Why do you think the Lakers should sign Jr. over Deion Waiters? I just never really seen Deion. You know, really. Well, come on, don't do Waiters County like that. Waiters I Island. Only, only seen him one game. That's when he was really like going off against Golden State that night. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Jr. Smith, comfortable with LeBron, played in Cleveland. Um, they have chemistry. Even though that one game against Golden State game one. Oh, you messed up? Yeah. I mean, but at the end of the day, they got Kim. JR is a streaky shooter when he gets hot. And LeBron knows that. I don't I never seen Dion just explode like JR I've seen JR explode on the court. So I'm I'm just confused about that. So maybe I guess in the workouts, JR just probably wasn't maybe NBA ready, game shape ready. Cause yeah. Dion was playing with the Heat. So he was he ready. So Yep. I don't know. I have to wait and see. I don't know how to feel about uh, the move yet. I see him in action. The Lakers' next two games against the NBA best team in basketball, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Clippers. That Bucks matchup, uh, it will be in L.A., highly anticipated. Giannis versus LeBron. Uh, who you got winning? Battle of the two MVP front runners. You know I'm going with the Lakers. Because didn't, didn't Milwaukee just lose to Miami? Oh. Yeah, they did. Oh. Then they, but they beat uh, – they beat uh, the Pacers last night. The Pacers. They not. They don't really have team. no superstars. It's a playoff team. They just play good together. He we, don't have no but superstar. we, Jimmy, don't try Jimmy. Don't try Jimmy. <laughs> Do not try Jimmy. Jimmy Butler's a superstar. Oh wait, wait, my fault. He's a star. Okay. He's a star. <laughs> I was to say he's a star. <laughs> I was to say he's a star. <laughs> but I'm saying the Pacers do not have a star or a superstar. They they, they do have a star. Who? Sabonis is a star. He's an all star. Bro, come and on. And Depot was an all star last season too before the injury. But he not at, he playing he not playing at that level right Sabonis now. Sabonis is top three in double doubles this year. I know Sabonis is going crazy, but so he not no, he not a star. So though. what do you consider a star? He only putting up these numbers this year. It's his third year in the league. He's not a star, not yet. I mean, I like what he's doing this but year. But Tatum's a star. Yes, Tatum's a star. Tatum is a star. What? Well, my brother said when they're different, you treat them different. You don't treat like the you don't keep the same energy with the other people. Bro. Jason Tatum is going crazy this year. Sabonis is going crazy this year. Just because no, you're not putting up 30 points a game, that would mean you're not going crazy. This he's is top diff- three in double doubles, and he's leading. He's almost like top 10 in triple doubles all around. See, Sabonis, he's doing, he doing the. I'm going to teach you like Demond. Hold on. He's doing the work that we don't really see because it's it's just small work that he's doing. But he getting it's big 
production. Like, we're not really saying highlights as a bonus. 18 points per game, 12 rebounds per game. He was a walking double-double and five assists per game. And he made the All-Star as a reserve. Mm-hmm. In the East. So? He's an All-Star. <laughs> In the East. It's not that many stars. He's still putting up. He's averaging a double-double. You're right. But, I mean, he's just dropping 18, 14, 15. Like. Shooting 53% from the field. He's doing it with his team ass. How are you? How are you hating? I'm not hating. I said he's doing great. But he's not a star? He's not a star to me. Not to me. I like the double-doubles. So Is Jalen hey. Brown a star? Is Jalen Brown a star? Yes, he's a star. Yes, Jalen <laughs> Brown's a star. <laughs> did, did Andre Drummond make the All-Star game? No. Okay, then. And Drummond always get double-doubles. Drummond a star. Okay. Sabonis a star, too, but then. Sabonis not a star. That was, that's just this year. Drummond does that consistently. What's the difference between a star and an All-Star? Do it consistently. It's Every his year. third year. It this is Tatum first year in All-Star, too. And Jalen Brown never been an All-Star. Tatum was going hard when he first entered, though. <laughs> he just, you know, he just had his rocky moments. <laughs> Tatum was going crazy, though. And Jalen Brown, you know Jalen Brown's situation. I don't know his situation. When he first, you know, they wasn't believing, you know. And then, you know, he got, when Kyrie came, things was breaking down. He's giving him bad excuses. No, but you see this year with uh, Kemba right. as that leader let's, let's and see. Jason Tatum. This is Sabonis' fourth year, I might add. He's 23. Tatum is 21. Tatum is averaging 20. I'm going to round up and round down. He's averaging 24 points per game, seven rebounds and three assists. Sabonis is averaging 18 points per game, 12 rebounds, and five assists. Tatum. <laughs> you just looking at the double doubles, bro. I understand that. I understand. So that. rebounder don't matter. Like it's all about points. It's all about making doing a step back after a nice two legs. It's not. Like it's I, not. I understand now. You like Tatum because he relates to how you play in real life basketball. I mean, no, you like just... you like to come off the screen, do a little, uh-uh, just step back and shoot a three. I mean, it's not because of that. It's just because I feel like Tatum game can elevate way more than Sabonis. It really can. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's a game to elevate. Like this year, this is really like Sabonis' first year. I agree. That is his first year actually doing stuff. But he's been projecting each year. He's been getting better. That's what I'm saying. And Tatum's getting better. And the, and what I'm saying is, Jason Tatum is going to hit the elite level. Like, all right, let me let me, let me just let me <laughs> like, hit this. In the he's butt. elevating. I'm like not you don't see Sabonis is better than Jason Tatum. I'm not saying that at all. However, I am saying that Sabonis is a star. And Jason Tatum is a star. That's I know that. At. Yes. But Sabonis is not a star. So what's the difference between a star and an all star? A star and all star. Don't you have to be an all star to real. be a star? Let's be real. It's just oh. it's like the same situation with Chris Middleton. No, oh, his it's like the oh. same situation. It's like the same situation. You know people should have been. Uh, you guys, oh. you want to hear his Chris Middleton analysis? You could go to episode 52 of the Pack Life Podcast. We are not backtracking to that conversation because Chris, Middleton, Chris Middleton is an all-star. Uh, Bradley Bill should have been over him. Win games, but we're not going back. Oh uh, what else we got? 